The Catholic Church has entered an agreement with a U.S. company that specializes in adult stem cells. The Vatican Department of Science and Faith has made an economic commitment of $1 million to Neostem through their charitable foundation. This is the first time the Vatican has entered into such an agreement with a publicly traded company to advance scientific research. Dr. Robin Smith is the CEO of Neostem, and she says that adult stem cell research is a way to improve health care while respecting the right to life. I think, um, you know, people are very focused on advancing science, and it has become a little bit of a political debate. But I think the key is safety, and I think whether your whatever your uh, political uh, sway is, everyone wants to improve medicine, to advance technology, and to decrease human suffering. By undergoing a painless four-hour procedure, a person's stem cells are extracted and then frozen and stored in case one day they're ever needed. They can be used to treat diabetes, heart problems, stroke, and even bone growth. While the Vatican has not changed its stance on embryonic stem cell research, Dr. Smith says that adult stem cell technology is advancing more rapidly thanks to its safety. There are people that are focused on advancing all types of, of stem cell therapy, both embryonic and adult, but I think the safety profiles of the adult stem cell are going to assist in making that advance more rapidly. And we even see today there's over 70 diseases that are using adult stem cells to treat them as part of the standard of care. In 2006, Benedict XVI said there is no conflict between true scientific progress and faith. The Church's cooperation with Neostem is a way of saying that not all stem cell research is harmful to human life. We strongly uh, support adult stem cells research for two reasons. First, of course, because we have very clear ethical statement about the value of human life at each stage of its development. This is the first one. Second, because adult stem cells research is safe, not only from ethical point of view, moral point of view, but from biological, I mean medical point of view. Currently, over 3,000 clinical trials are looking at new ways that stem cell technology can be used. So far, the success of adult stem cell research has given us a glimpse into what the future of medicine can hold.